Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing some more Untap Open League Modern. This one's going to be still on Bogles. Still, still on Bogles. I'm in the last round for this season. I, you've seen this list a bunch of times. It's in the description down below as well, so go check it out. My opponent is on Titan Shift. I, EP Thopper, EP T Hopper. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. And ta-da! It's, it's what you expect. There's a little bit of spice in here. Two coursers isn't necessarily standard. Flame Slash is definitely not standard, but we take that. Uh, we certainly appreciate, as a Bogles player, I certainly appreciate seeing that. Uh, two Anger, that, that can give me some trouble. The way it interacts with uh, Totem Armor, it's not good for me. Uh, Colony Heart as a two of. Uh, you know, the, the usual suspects here. See Valakit, for instance. And uh, here's the sideboard. So, taking a look. What I'm worried about, Destructive Reverie will come in, Reclamation Sage will come in, nothing else is great. Nothing else is necessarily all that... I mean, you have some cards to take out, at the very least two Flame Slash for those two, and we'll see where my opponent goes from there, but I am going to be on the... Nope, we, we mull. That's an easy mull. Have, I have no lands, so, you know, you do what you have to do. And that's a two-lander. Uh, one of them doesn't make white, but we have to keep. So I'll uh, keep and scry. Keep scry. All right, let's take a look at that top card. Get that top one. Something. Okay, um, that's a... Uh... Hmm. So, unfortunately... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have a creature. You, you see, we have a creature here, and that's fair enough. That creature is susceptible to removal, and I am a little bit worried about that, to be honest. Um, but, that said, we have, a, we have Hyena Umbra here. I think it's fine to keep this. Um, on the other hand, I'd like to find another white source, so I can put this on the bottom, and I'll still have other enchantments, uh, and I'll still have... Dramoka's command to use my mana on, so I'm actually going to shove this to the bottom. Put that on the bottom of the deck. And we're off to the races. I'm going to say that to them as well. We're off to the races. Is my internet being slow again? Oh god, I hope not. Hello? Okay. Oh, wow, that delay. That was... odd. Okay, so I will draw. Maybe that's just my computer being weird. Okay, so we have to go... We have to go turn one canopy. Turn two bogle, so I'm gonna take the one. And pass the turn. Fun interactive magic as Richard Garfield intended. Actually, yeah, in this case that sort of applies, I guess. Okay, so we have yet another Farseek. Give me just a moment, opponent. Okay, well, we didn't find that other land, not yet. So, what I will do is I will pay one, poke myself, put a hyena umbra, plus one plus one first strike totem armor, and uh, I will go to combat. Hiya! Dos. Ni? Each ni? Yeah, I think that's two. Mm-hmm. Main two. Play you out. And pass the turn. Unfortunately, that does give my opponent something to use their flame slashes and whatnot on. Oh, as for me, by the way, when it comes around, comes time, uh, I will be bringing in four Leyline of Sanctity. So my creatures can't be hurt, and I can't be hit by Valakit, and then uh, that will just leave my opponent on the Primeval Titan beatdown plan, which does not necessarily get there. I'll also try to bring in Gaddictique. I think I'll have room. Okay, that's a 2-4. Two, 
Little does my opponent know that the top card in my deck is a uh, plains, or a fetch land, or anything. Please. Okay. I mean, that's that's fine. It's not ideal. By the way, uh. Gain one life. I mean, if I'm reading this correctly, whenever a land ETB is under your control, you gain one life. I think my opponent should have gained one there, right? It was play these three, and then the mountain. Oh! My bad. Let's see. Oh yeah, because there was a fetch, that's right. So I, I see my opponent fetch. Okay, so that's where that extra point came from. I missed the fetch. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, so we're going to... Two? One, two, take one. I am already under that magical number, unfortunately. You know, it would be nice, but we're... It's fine, it's fine. Uh, alternatives could have been... Plus one, plus one... Can't. That's an enchantment! That's an enchantment! I goofed. LOL. Oh well. That's an enchantment. So yeah, that should have been plus one plus one, second enchantment. Oh well. Alright, cool. Past turn. It's. It might very well be okay, because when Scape Shift hits, if I'm at or below 18, all's even anyway. Unfortunately. But nevertheless, this is going to give my opponent two more damage to me. They gain a life. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Wait, wait. Whoa, dude. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Farseek resolved, gave a mountain, played a windswept. Okay, okay. Alright. Go on. Unlike Paper Magic, there's not any communication here, unfortunately. So, Primeval Titan is about to come down. No, no, that's, a uh, that's Soccer Tribe Elder. Soccer Tribe Elder, okay. Yep, makes, makes sense. We're gonna play that, it can't block anyway, so we're just gonna sack it right, right away. Get our extra life. Gain one. Okay, my opponent got there. Fetching, going back to 15, going to go to 16, fetch, and then gain. Good times, good times. That was a thing in standard, when you had Courser and fetch lands at the same time. Escape shift. Alright, gonna make you do it. Resolves. I'm gonna make my opponent do it. Uh, they have enough mountains, I have access to the list. So that's Valakut. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. GG. Game two. Cool. And we had the same statement. Why does it always cut off before I get to that? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so bringing in the ley lines. It's a quad ley line list, as you do. Uh, it might have made a difference. No, it, it didn't really make a difference it, that I didn't use the Dromokus command there. It's too slow anyway. Uh, we're going to take out Dromokus command. It hits, well, let's see, how many coursers? Two courser, two colony, 
no other enchantments that are coming in, as best I can tell. I mean, no other enchantments, period, actually. So, it's just those. I think it's fine to take out the Dromoka's command. When we go back and look at it, the modes are... Uh, prevent all damage, instant or sorcery, so it won't work on Valakit. Saxon enchantment, plus one, plus one, fights. Um, none of those modes are great for what we're trying to do. It's two mana, plus one, plus one, maybe something else. Maybe. So, given that, I think we're okay. And if the opponent doesn't have anything else, I'll just tell him sack an enchantment, because I have to pick two. Alright, so given that, the weakest one is Spider Umbra. That's the, the weakest link here. Hmm. So Spider Umbra is not great. And I, I think it's okay to take that out. There, there are no flyers in my opponent's list. So, we take out Spider Umbra. There aren't a lot of creatures, but I don't want to run to uh, run down too few. I don't want to take out too many of, uh, of my auras. Spirit Mantle is okay, but would I rather have Spirit Mantle or a Gaddictique? And the more of those I take out, the worse I'm going to make my Daybreak Coronets all the way up here. Now, when I, if I have Leyline, Gaddict Teague shutting down Scapeshift doesn't matter anyway. As for other cards my opponent could bring, or could that could be affected by it, um... Nope, just the four Scape Shifts. That's, that's it. So I think I'm actually going to try it out this way. I'm going to try it out with three Umbras and Dromoka's Command out. In my estimation, those are the weakest cards. And hopefully we'll get one in our opener. If not, we're not getting one. We're not getting enough time. That's not going to be a thing. And please, okay, so this is keepable. It has a creature in the form of Dryad Arbor. Uh, my opponent's probably sided out the removal, so this is going to stick. It does have a Daybreak Coronet, which it's going to be turn three with Dryad Arbor, but it's going to be turn three anyway. Leyline, Path, this is, this is acceptable. I can live with this. Uh, so I will say keep. Keo. Uh, coffee. Caffeine. Much needed. Very important for this. Alright, so we're going to start off with... If I just double-click it, it just goes straight there. So it goes on the front. Cool. Uh, Frontline Leyline. I, I would like to play Dryad Arbor first here, because I would like to turn to Spirit Mantle, turn 3, Coronet, and then just go from there. And I can make it a little bit harder on my opponent. You know what? We're going to do you here. I'm going to make it a little, just a tiny bit harder on my opponent by, um, I just, I just had a brain freeze, um, oh my goodness, I am so sleepy right now. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I just forgot what I was talking about. I don't normally do that, I swear, I just... Actually gonna move you here, bud. You know, never mind. You're gonna go over here. I'm, my opponent's gonna think I'm OCD. I swear I'm not. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I have a touchpad, so if my thumb moves too close to the center, it does that. And uh, unfortunately, that's gonna be it. I'll pass the turn. Right on over. So they're on the Titan beatdown plan. They could have a destructive revelry or something, and that is admittedly another reason I could have brought in Gaddic Teak. Um, another issue is I could have taken out some number of Path to Exile, because Primeval Titan is uh, it's pretty good, I hear. Okay, so there we go. Uh, is uh, if Primeval Titan sticks, even if it, or if it lands, even if it gets Path, it still gets them two lands, and that can put them on the Valak could plan if they're able to deal with Leyline. Okay. So, from here... I think I would like to get a basic planes. So we're going to pay the one. Whee! 
Go and get our planes. Find card. Hello. Doo doo. Doo doo. It's still basic. It's snow, but it's basic. Da 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 da. Oh, that's right. I, I'm gonna make it harder on my opponent by staying above 18 life. All right, and uh, go to combat. Swing five. It's a one one, getting plus one plus one and plus three plus three. All right, so my opponent has taken it. Main two. Gonna play out a glade cover and pass the turn. See what my opponent can do. What you gonna do? Cool, got a mountain. Mm-hmm. Liquid caffeine, flow through me, keep my eyes open. Oh, hi, there's a Valakit. Oh, that's fun. There's a Valakit. So uh, I'm gonna untap and draw, but uh, check this out. So Valakit, ETBs, when a mountain enters the battlefield, if you control at least five other mountains, it's not a mountain, so you have to have, you know, if you control at least five. So the next one that comes in, um, no, if you control at least five other mountains, uh, you may have it deal three damage to target creature or player. So if I don't pump this thing up just a little bit more, it's possible that two lands coming in could kill the Dryad Arbor. That is absolutely possible, because it doesn't have Hexproof. So, I'm going to say, uh, go to combat. And, uh, six. Swing for six. Cool. I will play uh, Windswept and pass the turn. And why Windswept there? Because I'll get to do a little bit of deck thing. Just a little bit, but we'll take every margin we can get. We're digging for a pump. Prefer so either something with totem armor or something that gives better than plus one, plus one. So, uh, another daybreak. Okay. Yeah, if you have a soccer tribe, Elder, I'm in trouble. If you realize it. EPT Hopper. Oh, yep, yep, I'm in trouble. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, these are... Oh, wait a minute, that's right, this list doesn't have any prismatic omens. So these are never going to be mountains. That's right. Okay. Well, never mind then. No, my opponent's well away from that. Okay. I, I'm safe. This is just good old deck thinning, I guess. Oh, hello. Scape shift. Okay. Okay, so this Dryad Arbor's dead. Never mind. This is just scape shift to kill Dryad Arbor. Tell me where it's going. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a pointer, an arrow, in just a moment. Or I'm going to see something in chat. Six to your arbor. Yep, that's the answer. Green. It's dead, Jim. That's unfortunate. Whale. Okay. UT. Let's crack this fetch. Let's go to work. I could still lose. Primeval Titan is still a card. So we're gonna find card. We're gonna go through here and pull out just a just a regular old temple garden. Make sure I still have all my colors. And then watch me so it's not enough to draw a daybreak coronet, obviously. Not in this spot. Ooh, that's that's fun. That's a lot of fun. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. So we're gonna say combat. 
three. Now I've made the mistake before of thinking that it's only two, but ethereal armor is uh, for each enchantment, not for each aura you control. Uh, I know I'm going to put this in tapped, and then I will pass the turn. And why put that in tapped? If I get another ley line, then I will cast it right away. And the reason is because I am worried about. Well, I guess I could have held that then and played it later for all of two life. That, oh hi, that's a thing. Yup. Valakut's not a May, is it? No, it's it's a May. Okay. Oh, we're just getting our Valakuts out. Nice. End of turn. Path it. You you get your basic. Uh, you can get a, a basic mountain, it doesn't matter, I can't be targeted, my creature can't be targeted, and they don't have to target themselves. It would be cute if this were not a May, and I could force my opponent to hurt themselves. That would be that would be cute. Alright, cool. So we're gonna draw. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I win. One, two, three, four, five. Lethal. Hello. Lethal. Game three. All right. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Don't be hard on yourself. All right. Cool. Let's see. Do I want to bring in Teague? I think it's, despite what happened just then, I think it's actually fine for me to take out uh, two paths. I'm going to take out two paths and bring in two Gaddic Teagues. This will make me less likely to uh, have to mull from lack of creature, although that's a that's a marginal effect. And I really don't want to take out any more enchantments if I can help it. I would really like to have Daybreak Coronet be an actual card. Um, oh, I'm trying to decide if I want to take out any more paths to bring in some Spider Umbras to make Daybreak a little bit more likely. Um, other than Titan, I'm not worried about anything out of this deck, any creatures. Um, I can just get bigger. This, which, you know, ha ha ha. Um, but on the play, they're more likely to have, they're more likely to get to the Titan before I will. So I am, I'm debating this maybe a little bit too hard. Maybe the answer's easy. If I look back at my list, I have 23 enchantments. If I take out three of them, I have 20 enchantments. A given Daybreak Coronet being in my hand means that I have 19 enchantments left. Of those cards that are left, three of them are other Daybreak Coronets. So if I could make that just a little higher, that might be that might be what I need. But I don't I don't want to give up the paths. I'm bringing in Gaddick to hurt Scapeshift Scape Shift even worse. At this point, if I have a Ley Line, the only way I lose is Titan. So maybe I should keep in the paths. Maybe I should. What's the waste that could happen? I think it's fine to try it this way. Hello? There we go. Seven. See what I have. Um, that is weird, but we're on the draw, so I'm gonna try it. I get two draws to try to find an aura. And it has a ley line, so I know that sometimes you can have, you can be in a situation where there's a, uh, there's a ley line in your hand, you really want to keep it, but you shouldn't. Well, I I'm still going to do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm still going to, because I think that's better than going to six, even if, even though if I go to six, I get a scry. So we're going to draw a card. Oh, and there's a rancor. Okay. Cool. Scout. I am the scout. Pass turn. Nice. Okay. Very cut and dry. And if I can keep myself, for those that don't know, what I the reason I want to stay above 18 life is because when Valica comes down, six other mountains will be lethal. If I have greater than 18 life, it'll take seven, so it'll take eight lands total. Uh, to beat me. Oh, 
Well, this is a little odd. I guess I didn't have to do that. I could have just uh, played it afterwards. Kept up the... Well, it, it doesn't matter. What's my opponent going to do? I will go to combat. Hit for three. My opponent can count, so I'm just going to let them do it. Even though it's not their deck, I think my opponent will. Maybe. I'll say just in case. Alright, cool. We got there. Main two. And Bogle. Pass turn. They don't have any sack effects. And Primeval Titan has Trample anyway, so... Why? Why not? No, the, the answer is because it ever so slightly, slightly improves my clock. That's the answer. And any margin in, in a matchup like this is fine by me. I'm going to try to hold back on those canopies for as long as I think I can. There's a, uh, oh, what's it, Corsair. That's got, no, that's an Anger. It's dead, Jim. Nice. Okay, well, can you please? Okay, cool. And they're exiled. Just in case it matters. Just, just in case. Um, my opponent knows what's up, but still, it's, it's better to do it properly if I can. So, I can take one here, just to get the full amount of power on it. I don't have to do that, though, actually. I can wait, but I just saw Anger, and there's at least one more Anger, right? So there's two Anger, none in the sideboard. What are the odds that my opponent will have another one? Should I, should I play around that anyway? The answer, the answer may surprise you. The answer might be yes, because it's going to keep me above 18 life anyway. So let's do the things we know we're going to have to do. We know we're going to have to play a Bogle, and we know we're going to have to play one of these. My opponent knows about Rancor, so we're going to put out the Rancor. Um, and I think it's correct here for me to play out the Ethereal Armor as well. I'm going to take one, but I'm still above that magic number and then I'll pass the turn. So we're looking at a 1-3-1, one, 1-2-3. One, one, we're looking at a 6-4 first strike trample. That's not bad. What's that? That's a Misty Rainforest. Uh, of course, it looks like a Misty. Okay. Okay. We got there. We got there. And that's an extra plus, so I'll go to combat. I have to declare that first. Ten. And let's let's count again just to make sure. Let's count, kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my opponent went down. I'm gonna keep that in my hand. And I'm gonna pass the turn. I want my opponent to think I have a path. And I can't crack it anyway without paying the one life. I think it's fine. I don't need to... I think it's okay. Okay. I may just steal this game. That anger was brutal. Oh, that anger was brutal. For once, I was glad for the creature flood. How did you side, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, and yeah, let me see what I would have drawn. Oh, hi. Yeah, mainboard leyline is, is kind of sick, to be honest. It didn't seem to matter in this game because my opponent never got to enough lands to scape shift me or enough to primeval type. It didn't matter for this game anyway, but it's nice. To well, no, it did matter because ethereal armor. It may have sped me up by one. Uh, out to flame slash into. Exactly. All right, that's what I told YouTube. So, yep, that's what I figured. Um, and I'll say, game two for Leyline. Oh, hello. Leyline minus one. 
Oh, what was it? Uh, so the minus one was Dromoka's command. Oh, there's a space. There's a space there. You all know, but I'm, I'm going to try to give my opponent the courtesy of letting them know as well. Spider Umbra. Um, game three. Ditto. And then uh, plus two Gattic Minus two path. Path to exile. You know, I think that Gaddick is is good, but he's maybe not as good as the ley lines. I don't know. He feels like a worse ley line because the ley lines stop the scape shift and Valakut kill from happening, and Gaddick stops scape shift. Oh, excuse me. Um, but it doesn't stop Primeval Titan make va get Valakuts kill you that way. All right. Uh, good games. Cool. Uh, Time for vintage after all? Maybe. I mean, so my opponent is actually paired in both modern and vintage against me. So we're, we're going to see. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get a chance for that. Sure. Same. All right. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Bye-bye.